What is up guys, this is Jay and Sean from Solo Productions and today we have another special episode. What is it? Our special episode today is things that you must try or food or snacks that you must try when you come to Korea and when you visit a Korean convenience store. You guys can see that we got a couple of items in front of us here. We're gonna try them out. We're gonna tell you how it tastes. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? Very hungry. Mm. Let's do it. So, we're gonna try them out for you. Let's go! All right, so how are we gonna choose this? Now, we're gonna play rock, paper, scissors, and the winner chooses one type of snack okay. that he or she no, he, <laughs> he or he, he wants, or he to, try. wants to try. Yeah. So, ready? Let's uh, go. Rock, rock, paper, scissors! scissors. Rock, paper, scissors. scissors. Yay! <laughs> okay, okay, so, so I'll. He won. Let me start this. Okay, so I'll start by um, choosing this okay. um, Korean snack called Homer Ball. And super it's good. a yeah, it's a super good snack. It's from Hete, a Korean company, yep. and it's called Homer Ball. Mm -hmm. So let's just open it up. Are we gonna try both? Yeah, both. Yeah, okay, let's try both. So mine is a little, well, not mine, but this one is a little different. You can see the color is a little bit. So the original version is in green, and yeah. it's the chocolate version, and it's the best. This brown one, you can tell that it has a little tiramisu color. This is chocolate, the original. This is tiramisu inside, and Kira. Mitsu. Tiramisu. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Not gonna say Mitsu. Before we try it, yes. let's just explain to them mm. what kind of snack it is. So, you, it's like... I don't know if you can see. It's flour. It's just outside looks like flour. Inside, it's stuffed with chocolate and tiramisu cream. Let's just try it. Let's just give yeah. it a try. Let's go. Mm. Mm. This is good. This is good. really good. You know, I know how it tastes, but it's really good. I would recommend this to anybody because this is made out of chocolate. So no Asian flavors, no yeah. seafood, no shrimps. It's just good old chocolate. Okay, let me just try the, let me just try the turmeric soup. Let me just try the turmeric soup. For me, mm -hmm. I like the original. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's good. Turmeric soup for me, it's too sweet. Mm -hmm. I had the tiramisu first and then the chocolate and what I noticed is for me the chocolate, the taste, chocolate taste is a little very tiny little bit stronger compared to the tiramisu. This one's very chocolatey. So for me, I'll give this uh, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 I agree. This I 8 out of 10 just because I'm more used to it. But there might be people that like a little sweet so let's try both. So what's next? What's next? Right, how about this? I'm kind of thirsty so mm -hmm. we'll open up a drink. So we have two types. Mm -hmm. These, I think you can only get them in Korea. Mm -hmm. First one is called Kodo Bongbong, which means great bongbong. Karamandel, what karamandel is? Blend, blended, blended, blended hair drink. This is just blended hair. This is bongbong, bongbong. Yeah. Bon. But the thing is, you have to know that karamandel hair, which is the pear juice, is not the typical pear mm. you guys are familiar with. Yeah. It's the Korean type, the juicy, the sweetie, the one that looks very round. Round. I don't know if you guys can see, but this picture here, this is the pear. It's very round. It's just literally yellow looking apple. We have a lot to go, so. So let's open let's up one at a time. One at a time. Forward. So I got the great bonbon, and it looks like this. Oh, oh there we go. Do the it's not like your typical orange juice pulp that's yeah. very thin. It's actually great. It may be like a 25 cent yeah. size. Right, so what I got, does this one have pulp? Yes. Yes. Oh yeah, yes. oh yeah. Yes. You guys probably just see like very foggy white. It's because it has a very uh, small grinded up pear pulp mm. kind of thing. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. It tastes really good. It's really sweet. Have you tried it? Yes. It's so good. Mm. So very sweet. If you try the Korean jelly, oh, I mean, at the convenience store, it tastes like this. It's very sweet. Very good. Yeah. Mm. It's so good. I wanted to taste it because he kept saying it's sweet. I haven't had it in a long time. But after having this, this is kind of sweet compared to this. Really? Yeah. yeah. Like it, even this is like yeah, this is sweet. But I think this is sweeter. Mm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? If we had to compare just these two drinks, this is a little bit sweeter, but this is more refreshing kind of mm. style, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm gonna keep this, I'm not gonna finish this, so we can try other stuff. So what do you want to try? Uh, next is a very traditional snack called traditional oh. device. A snack that has been in Korea for a very long time. Mm. Even the kings during the Joseon, whatever, yeah. Korean, whatever dynasty, they all used to have this at the palace. Mm. So this is a modern day version of that. Yeah. It's literally just made from rice and honey. So it looks like this. Very crunchy and very 
<laughs> and the cool thing is for me, I don't know how about you, but like the packing, it has like a spoon like pouring honey. You expect it to be like really, really sweet, but for me, maybe I'm weird, but it's it's not that sweet. It's not like very sugary sweet type. So if you guys are coming to Korea on a vacation, you're on a vacation, you go to the convenience store, I would highly recommend you guys to try this. The must try. And while we're on the subject of rice snacks, let's just continue right on mm -hmm. to it. This is called salo bear, which means rice to star. It's very similar to this. It's been in Korea as a snack for a very long time. This one is basically non-honey version of this. It's literally just made out of rice. Here you go. I don't know if you can this one's kind of long. This one's just circular. I don't know how to explain this taste. If Jochong Yuga was uh, sweet, mm -hmm. this is going to be salty, savory. Mm -hmm. It is salty, but not because they put salt mm -hmm. in it. But it's the salty type. Yeah, 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 yeah. For me personally, I like this one better than mm. for me. Yeah. For I, you. Yeah. For me, I like the, the circular salo bell mm -hmm. better than Jochong. For me, I like this one better. Jochong Yuga. I'm not saying I don't like this. I just like this better. If I had to choose only one, I would choose this. If you want the sweeter one, the longer one, the chokchong. If you want the less sweeter but a little bit salty, it's not like super salty, it's not like salt and vinegar. Yeah, so out of 10, how many points would you give this? This one? Like, I've had this since I was a child. And, like, even when I was a little kid, I liked it. Solid 9. I don't want to give anything a 10 yet. I'm not ready to pop the cherry on that 10, but 9 for sure. I also would give this a 9, but just because I said I like this better, I would give this a 9 and an 8. How about you? For me, Chochung Yuga and Salo Bell as a snack is for me, it's like comfort food. So for me, I would give this a 9, Chochung Yuga 9, and also this one, the Salo Bell 9. They're pretty good. Mm. So I would highly recommend you guys to come and try this when you come to Korea. These snacks are very enjoyed. Yeah. Yeah, enjoyed in Korea. So please come and try this. You will not regret tasting this. Let's um, put the snacks to the side. And what should we go for? We have three items left. We have the infamous banana milk, only found in Korea. Yeah. And then we have the half boiled eggs. Mm -hmm. And another one, you can find this in Korea and maybe some neighboring Asian countries like Japan. Mm -hmm. And it's the kimbap, but triangular kimbap. So, which one should we go for? Let's go with the kimbap first. This is hamga kimbap, it's a triangular seaweed kimbap. I don't know if you guys know, usually the Korean style kimbap are the round ones that are filled with stuffing. This one is obviously triangular. You buy these at convenience stores and there's hundreds of them. We just got two random ones. I got the big, oh we got the big version. So there's like a big version of the triangular kimbap mm -hmm. oh, and big. there's like a regular. Mm -hmm. There's no small version but there's a regular version. I've never seen big. It's probably like one centimeter small. Yeah, so what I got was the big chamchi mayo. It's tuna with mayonnaise. What's yours? Mine is called the big pasta, bulgogi with soy sauce. You guys all know what bulgogi is, right? Korean authentic style marinated beef with soy sauce, with rice and seaweed. There is a way to open this. If you look at the packaging, it says it's numbered one, two, and three. If you just peel the number one first down like this to the bottom, to the end, remove it like this, and then number two. Turn it sideways, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. The packaging has come out. Go to the next side, number three, and shake it out, shake it out, and then we have a perfect triangular Korean tanga. For me, every time I open this, I'm in such a hurry. I always fail at opening it cleanly. My seaweed always rips, so I, I kind of want to show them the inside. You know how I said there's going to be dry seaweed, and the inside is going to be white rice, and then in the middle or on top is going to be the menu that's supposed to be with the triangular. You don't know the difference in color, but it's all stuffed in the middle. So seaweed, good. So, yeah. mm. Did you want to taste that one? Mm. It literally just tastes like a tuna sandwich. Okay, so we only have two left. What do you want to do? you want to just go with the egg and then the banana? Together. Together? Okay. What we have left are no, what we grab. The egg. What's the name of it? This type of bag is called Kamdong Yeah. I don't think you can find this anywhere else. Maybe in some. I always have to say maybe in Japan because Japanese convenience stores have very similar snacks to Korean convenience stores, so I can't say it's only in Korea, but at least in Korea you can find it like 100% if you go to Korea. Mm. So that's another plus. Yeah. The one thing that makes this different from this the plain boiled egg is the fact that the yolk, the yolk inside the egg is half boiled. It moves around. It moves. It's slimy, slimy inside. It's yellow. Okay. Open it. 
Open it, open it. Another thing is that the eggs are pre-seasoned. It's already salted, so you don't need extra salt with the egg. You just have to peel it off and have a bite, and I'll show you inside. Mm. It's not focusing. Okay. You can see that the inside is not fully boiled. So it's very soft, it tastes really good, and it has a lot of proteins. <laughs> Banana milk. This is a great pride of Korean convenience stores. In Korean, we read it banana as you. So it's not banana, it's banana. 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 It's yellow, like a banana. <laughs> and it tastes really good. <laughs> the funny thing is, we only, yeah. No, no, the funny thing is, we only picked the ones that we thought were good. We're eating it and we're saying it's very good. Like, we didn't choose anything that we disliked. Because we don't want to eat it. Our conclusion every time is it's really good. Yeah. Really good. We can recommend this. All those facts. It's super good. Mm -hmm. So you should try it. Cheers. Okay. So this banana mat you. The name literally means banana tasting milk. And it tastes like banana. Real banana. No, it tastes actually better than a banana. I think it does. <laughs> it tastes better than a banana. The mix of the banana and the milk is so good. <laughs> So we've tried a lot of snacks and drinks today that you can find in a Korean convenience store that we highly recommend and they were pretty much excellent. Yeah, we literally stopped rating them because like he said, we just chose the ones that we wanted to eat that we knew that were good. So whatever we show you guys today, just try it. Just, just try it, just try it. All right, so we're done for today with the episode of the convenience store snacks. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. We're out. Peace.